All right, guys, Gary Dean, Tampa, Florida, detailjuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing. I'm working on a 2015 Ferrari uh, 458 Spider, and I just wanted to bring up a topic that doesn't get mentioned a lot, and here's the problem. A lot of you guys, when I say what I'm about to say or show you what I'm about to show you, you're going to be like, wow, that's common sense. Well, you wouldn't believe, or maybe you would, maybe you can't imagine the amount of questions that I get about things that I think are just common sense. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is because it's important and you can really trash a vehicle if you don't follow this small step. Now, most of you guys are familiar with vacuuming out a car. No big deal, right? But you don't take into account how dangerous the hose that you're using can be. This has all these ridges in it. It is hard plastic. And if it rubs against the door jam or the outside of the door, the paint, it's going to scuff it all up, if not scratch it really bad. You guys have got to lift this hose or whatever hose you're using. If, if you follow me and you follow my recommendations, you're using the rigid five horsepower portable vac and you're using this pro hose. And this thing can do some damage. So you've got to lift this thing up when you're vacuuming out a car. I see guys all the time vacuuming cars out with this hose rubbing against the paint rubbing against the door jam this is a 300 plus thousand dollar car you don't want to damage it you don't want to take the job that you're do doing and go backwards whether you can fix the damage or not is not important time is money i preach that to you guys all the time so you can do a couple different things the first thing that you could do is, I used to sell this contraption that I created. It was called the vacuum hose control clip. I currently sell the cord control clip that goes on your uh, shirt collar. The vacuum hose, hose control clip actually went on your hip and this slid in it. And you had full range of motion, just like the cord control clip, but it was for the vacuum hose. If you guys want me to bring that back, I can do that. but. Realistically, you can just hold the hose between your legs. I know this looks a little funny, hose between your legs. <laughs> but this is really serious business. You're working on expensive cars. Even a Ford Focus is worth this kind of attention. So, I mean, you've got different, different types of clients. Some care more than others. But I can tell you that this client isn't incredibly incredibly particular but if he saw that this door jam was all scuffed up he would wonder what's going on and i would get the phone call because it would have been me that let the uh, hose drag on the door jam so anyway when you're in there vacuuming either hold it with the other hand and make sure it doesn't rub or put it between your legs give yourself a little bit of extra hose to work with and just move it around accordingly but just don't let this thing drop and rub against that door jam because you're going to be creating an issue that you don't really need to have. Pay attention. I mean, after all, we are detailers. You need to pay attention to the small details. So anyway, watch where your hose goes. Make sure you pay attention to your hose and uh, make sure it's between your legs or in your hand. I know all of this sounds crazy, but it's important and I am not only trying to entertain you by saying stupid things about your hose between your legs, but I want you to pay attention to the small things that really matter and scuffing up a door jam could potentially set you back and ain't nobody got time for none of that. So pay attention to what your hose is doing, keep it in your hand, keep it in between your legs but keep it off those door jams or off the bumper if you're doing uh the you know the the 
the trunk or the rear end of an SUV or whatever, just pay attention to uh, where you put your hose. It's pretty important. So, uh, thanks for watching. 813-846-4406. Uh, if you got any questions for me, if you need some help in your detailing endeavor, if you got questions about my products at detailjuice.com, I will make myself available for you. I'm a busy, busy man. If I, if I do not answer your phone call, leave me a voicemail or send me a text message, or you can always reach me on Facebook Messenger. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.